2021 was a pretty good year for YouTube if I do say so myself. Well, in terms of my YouTube channel, I should say. I hit 100 subscribers and plus I also made mad videos that I really enjoyed making. So I figured why not count down the top 10 videos I made for this year. So I just want to say that this is my first time making a top 10 video. I don't really plan on making these kinds of videos for my channel, but I mean, it's the first time for everything. So I figured I'd try this, see how it goes. And yeah, with all that done, we're going to get into the number 10 spot. Now, I know this might be considered cheating a little bit, but I really don't care. I made two parts of this little series where I got a couple of my friends. For the first video, I got my friend AJ to play this with me. For the second video, I got my friend Jalik. So, how this video came about was that me and my friend AJ were playing random Smash Battles one day. We was having mad fun just being mad dumb and shit, right? So then I was like, yo, bro, why don't we just make a video? And he was with it, so... Yeah, honestly, I had mad fun making these videos, but let's talk about the first part specifically. So like I said, for part one of this, I played this with my friend AJ, and we had mad fun doing this. We played about 10 matches, but my favorite match was the very first match that you've seen right now, where I'm playing as Richter and he's playing as Lucas. Now, there were mad funny parts in this video, but this is my favorite part right here. Oh, no. <laughs> Nigga almost got whipped. Yo, not the kids, bro. I'm calling, it, I'm calling it child services. <laughs> I'm weak. Yo, fuck this kid, bro. Fucking hate oh, Lucas, God. bro. Yeah, bro, he an orphan. No, he'll be all right. He got psychic he's powers. Beating. He'll live. He's beating up the orphan. That's, that's Yo, crazy. I'm probably gonna cut the, that whole segment about orphans out the video. <laughs> but yeah, the reason why I like that part so much was because it's just me and AJ just being ourselves, cracking jokes or whatever, right? And plus, I got to use that Invader Zim clip, and Invader Zim was one of my favorite shows growing up. And yeah, like. Honestly, for this video, it wasn't about who could beat who, who could get the most amount of Ws. It was just us about having fun and having a good time and making a funny YouTube video. But with that being done, let me talk about the next part. Now, as for the second part of this, how it came about was that Jolly just hit me up one day. He was like, yo, bro, you trying to make a YouTube video together? And I was like, I bet that sounds lit. So, yeah, a lot of my friends are really big fans of Smash Brothers, so... We, that means we we play it a lot <laughs> don't really know how else to describe it but yeah i also really enjoyed making this video with my boy jolly it was pretty much the same with aj we just played this game crack jokes there were a lot of favorite parts in this video kind of hard to say what was my favorite part for this one but yeah and for the final uh match for this we did a um I, well i wanted the salty run back because i lost the previous match and i ended up losing the salty run back but although i was salty I enjoyed this video. I really did enjoy making these videos. Like, honestly, in the future, I hope to do more collab videos, whether it be with other YouTubers, with my bros, with my other friends, or any of that. And yeah, with that being done, we're going to go into the number nine spot. Actually, wait, wait, wait. Before we go into the number nine spot, I forgot to mention, AJ and Jalik, they make music, and their music is fire. Their music is going to be in the description down below, so yeah, be sure to check it out. Now I'm going to be honest, I had no idea what to expect before I played Split Gate for the first time. I've heard really good things about it prior to playing it, like I heard it was like, um, Portal, Halo, even Black Ops 3 because of like the boost jump, well I thought it was like Black Ops 3 but that's besides the point. Shit, I even heard people say that this is going to be the game that kills Black Ops Cold War and, I mean, can you blame them for saying that Black Ops Cold War kind of stinks but that's besides the point. This game is really good, kind of a, kind of an underrated game in my opinion but, I'm gonna be honest, this was the first time, this is the first and only time I played Splitgate. I have not played Splitgate ever since I recorded this video. And it's a shame because Splitgate, it's a really, really good game and it's really fun too. Now, fun fact about this video, this is the first video I recorded with my new mic, which is a Blue Yeti Nano. And I feel like you could tell the difference between my mic quality in this video and the videos that came before. I feel like the mic quality is a lot better. Now, in the video, it looks like I'm kind of hunched over and there's a reason for that. So, when I ordered my Blue Yeti Nano off of Amazon, right, it said it was going to come with a mic stand, but it didn't. I had to order the mic stand separately, so I had to place my mic on my desk with the little, like, mic holder that it came with. And by, by mic stand, I mean, like, the little arm, the bendy arm thing. That's what I mean by mic stand, but yeah. Now, I want to say this in the most humble way possible and to not brag, but for my first time playing Splitgate, I feel like I did pretty damn good. Like, I played, like, five matches, and I only lost one. And I was really having mad fun. Like, it really felt like I was playing Portal, Halo. Now, I've never played those games before, but if this is what Halo feels like, then I definitely want to play Halo, you know? Because I, I really did have mad fun playing Splitgate, and I should probably do another Splitgate video, but who knows? Who knows if I'll do another Splitgate video? 
Also, this is one of the rare occasions where I'll censor myself whenever I curse, but I ain't do that in all my other videos because fuck that, that's mad work. But anyways, yeah, Splitgate, really great game. Will I play it more in 2022? Uh, probably. I might. I might write that down. And yeah, with that being done, we're going to go into the number eight spot. So back in October of 2020, I made a video called Ike Swings His Sword Like an NBA Youngboy Fan. Now how that video came about was that me, a bunch of my friends, we were playing Smash Bros one day, right? And my friend Justin, who was playing with us, said Ike Swings His Sword Like an NBA Youngboy Fan. Now at the time, I hadn't really used Ike like that, which is crazy because back in Bro, he was one of my mains. He was one of my favorite characters. And he was like, yo, bro, Ike Swings His Sword Like an NBA Youngboy Fan. And I was like, yo, he really does because I mean, just look at how wild he swings his sword. So that just clicked in my head and just gave me the idea to make the video Ike Swings a Sword like an NBA Youngboy fan. Now because the video did pretty good, a sequel to it was inevitable. Like I really enjoyed making that first part of Ike Swings a Sword like an NBA Youngboy fan. And did you see how that Bowser got bodied? Anyways, and as you can see in the video, I'm using my face cam. Now at the time of me making the Ike Swings a Sword like an NBA Youngboy fan part 1, I actually had my face cam but at the time I didn't really feel comfortable showing my face on the internet and stuff so I decided to not use my webcam but yeah, and not to brag or anything, but I really feel like this video was a step up from the previous part. Not only do I have an Elgato capture card and I use it to record this video, but I feel like my commentary, my edits, just using memes and making jokes in general has gotten better and improved since then, you know? But with that being said, we're gonna go into the next spot. It Takes Two is a game all about teamwork and putting two heads together like Zack and Wheezy from Dragon Tales. Now for this video, I collab with my friend John. If it wasn't for him, this video probably would have never came to be, right? Because he's the one that actually put me on to this game. And I said to myself, I was like, yo, bro, do you want to play this for YouTube? I play from my perspective, you play from your perspective. And yeah, that's how part one of It Takes Two came about. Now, how me and John know each other is that we both went to college together. We both were in the same major, right? And the both of us, we like anime and video games. So yeah, we get along pretty good. Now, this video was pretty funny to make. I'd say it's one of my funniest videos because me and John, we our, our chemistry together is pretty good. But I stated earlier that I'd like to do more collab videos, whether it be with other YouTubers, my friends, and yeah. Like, when we were playing this game, we were both cracking jokes, roasting each other, just having a good time in general because, like, I feel like when it comes to doing collabs, playing with your friends or whatever, it's, it's like I said, it's really not about winning, losing, or whatever it's just about playing together and having fun that's what playing video games with your friends is all about you know not to sound all cheesy or corny or anything you feel me but yeah now i haven't released part three or even recorded part three of me and john playing through it takes two i don't know i guess i just kind of fell off the game but we've talked about making more videos on it takes two and playing through the game and actually beating the game together but who knows maybe in 2022 me and john might release part three of it takes two but yeah can't really make any promises as of right now but we'll see what the future holds and also by the way the links to john's youtube and twitch are going to be in the description down below so i'd appreciate it if y'all check him out and yeah on to the number six spot now horror games have never really been my thing but as of now i played through two well technically three horror games i played through resident evil 7 until dawn and resident evil 8 i wanted to play until dawn because i remember back in like 2015 i think it was when i was a freshman in college i saw dashy games play through this game and dashy games is one of my favorite youtubers right and he like is one of my inspirations you feel me so i watched him play it i was like yo this game looks mad fun i really did enjoy watching him play through that game and yeah i figured why not play it myself and the reason why i wanted to play it well another reason as to why i wanted to play is because i've always wanted to play these sort of um like interactive games where like the choices you make can affect the story or whatever and yeah now the reason why i like this part so much and why this part is my favorite is because it revolves the character emily now i've made it as clear as day that i do not like this character like i genuinely do not like this character at all i probably dislike her as much as i dislike seriu from the anime akame got killed that may have been an exaggeration but the point is that i do not like this character at all now why do i hate this character you might ask well for starters she's condescending she's way too cocky and she takes the phrase walk around like your shit does this thing to a whole nother level also she's a snob that acts like she's all high and mighty and whatnot and also she cheated on her boyfriend and her boyfriend was mad loyal to her like he really was mad loyal to her and that's why in the title 
I said that she belongs to the streets because she does. But anyways, playing through Until Dawn was really fun. Like I really enjoyed myself playing through this game. Like honestly, maybe in the future I'll play more horror games. Like as of now, I'm thinking about playing through The Walking Dead, the Telltale Walking Dead games, even though I've never watched a single episode of The Walking Dead. But yeah, anyways, this part is done. Let's go on to the next spot. Resident Evil 7 is a really, really good game. Like, I played through this game like three times. I was playing it on stream at one point on Twitch. By the way, if you haven't followed me on Twitch, you definitely should. But yeah, the reason why I like this part so much is because it has my favorite boss fight in the game where you fight against Jack Baker, where you in that little cage area, you gotta take the chainsaw and slice him in half or whatever. I don't know why, but I, don't, I really can't say why this is my favorite boss fight. I, and as expected, I died a few times because, you know, at the time of me playing this, I hadn't played this in a year, so I was kind of rusty not to make excuses or anything. Now, Jack Baker was definitely the most intimidating character in this game. Like, he woke up and chose violence any chance he could. Like, he is the definition of Black Air Force energy, you know what I'm saying? This game, this game is really a 10 out of 10 game. Like I said, I'm not really into horror games, but I do like Resident Evil, and playing this game really made me realize how much I love Resident Evil, you know? Now, a fun fact about me playing through Resident Evil 7 for YouTube, right? I played through Resident Evil 7, the playthrough took 7 videos, and my total game time was 7 hours, which I always find hilarious, but yeah, with that being done, let's go into the number 4 spot. Coming in at the number 4 spot, we have part 12 of my playthrough of Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix on Critical Mode. Now, before I started playing this, I told myself I was gonna die mad times, and as far as I know, up to this point, this is the most amount of times I died. Like, critical mode is really no joke in this game. Now, the reason why this part is my favorite by far is because just editing it, just seeing how many times I died, it was a fun thing to do, you know? Plus, like, I get to, like, kind of roast myself, say I suck and all that, because, you know, sometimes you just gotta make fun of yourself when you mess up on something, you feel me? Now, I've stated that Kingdom Hearts 2 is my favorite video game of all time, and it really is. I've always loved this game ever since I was a kid. I even remember the day I got it, but, yeah. I'm gonna be honest, this was the world I did not expect to die on so much. Like, real talk, I died so many times in this video, and especially on the final boss for the first run of the Pirates of the Caribbean world, like, I really died mad times, like, I looked like I was all laughing and joking or whatever, but I really was getting angry low-key, and notice how I'm wearing all pink, I'm wearing a pink hat, pink hoodie, yo, no lie, I felt like I was like Cameron or something, but yeah. Now, every time I die, I made sure to write it down on my note Facebook, because had I not have done that, I would have never been able to keep track of my deaths, but yeah. At the time of me making this little video right here, I have about, how many deaths do I have? I have, uh, I have 46 deaths, so yeah. I'm still playing through this game and all that, and I'm definitely going to be dying a lot more, so yeah, on to the next spot. Now, I'm going to be honest, when they first announced Resident Evil Village, I was really hyped for this game because I love Resident Evil 7 so much, I was like, you know what, this game is going to be fire. Now, this is the second game I played on my channel where I played through the game blind, the first one being Until Dawn. Also, fun fact, this was my very first video where I used my face cam, and speaking of face cam, you may have seen right there that it said something about GPU acceleration, that's because that transition where my face cam came in, right? My GPU couldn't handle it at the time, so that's why I said that, but when I watched the video back in Premiere Pro, it didn't say that, it did the transition just fine, but I didn't notice until I uploaded the video itself, so it was kind of embarrassing, but... Yeah. Now, when I first got my PC and monitor and all that, I also got a webcam with the two. But, at the time, I was kind of uncomfortable showing my face on YouTube, and honestly, I'm kind of camera shy. Now, the reason why I decided to do my face cam for this was because I expected the game to be scary, and to be honest, this game was really not that scary at all, but that's besides the point. And also, I'm trying to get over, like, being camera shy and stuff, and I kind of forced myself to keep my webcam on, so, yeah, that's why I, that's why I use my face cam for this, so yeah. Now, fun fact, prior to this, I wanted to play through the game Outlast, so I recorded it, uploaded it, so technically that was my first time using my webcam, but I ended up deleting the video for two reasons. One, I wasn't really satisfied with it, and two, I saw that Resident Evil Village was coming out, so yeah, that's why I decided to scrap Outlast and play Resident Evil Village. So will I be playing Outlast in the future? Uh, maybe. I kind of want to play more horror games because horror games, they, they fun to play, honestly, even though I'm not really into horror games like that, but yeah. That's it for this spot, let's go into the number 2 spot. Sora being revealed for Smash Brothers absolutely broke the internet, like no funny shit, everybody and their mother lost their minds, including myself. 
because I wanted Sora in Smash, but I kept saying that it's not possible because of licensing with Disney and Square Enix. I figured it'd be too much of a hassle, but I'm glad Monster Hero Sakurai proved me wrong and proved everybody wrong. Like, honestly, this was the perfect way to end Smash Bros with the character that everybody has been fiending for ever since Smash Bros for Wii U and 3DS. Like, real talk, I said that Kingdom Hearts 2 is my favorite video game of all time. Like, seriously, Kingdom Hearts has been a part of my life ever since I was a kid because I love Disney growing up, and I like Square Enix. Square Enix, their games are fire, you know? Now, I was already satisfied with Byleth. I told everybody I know that I wanted Byleth in the game because I absolutely love Fire Emblem 3 Houses, but honestly, Sora had me the most hype. Like, my hype was immeasurable because I was so happy that Sora was in the game. Like, I was literally screaming, Sora's in Smash Bros! Sora is here! And I was like jumping up and down, bouncing off the walls because I was just so happy to see Sora in Smash Bros, man. Like, words really cannot describe how happy I was. And I'm just so happy to be a fan of Super Smash Bros, yo. And Sora being in this game just proves that anything is possible, you know? Like with my Kazuya video, I wanted to play Sora day one. Like, I didn't want to practice. Like, I wanted to play Sora as soon as he was he came out, you know? Like, I just wanted to show like my day one Sora, and honestly, I had mad fun playing as Sora. Like, Sora is so much fun to play, but yeah, like I said, I'm happy Sora's in the game. It feels good to have Sora in Smash Bros. But with that done, let's get into the honorable mentions. Oh, you, you were hiding, you, Geo? Yo. Yo, you can tell if the ghost is coming by the foot, like, by our lights flashing. Oh, it's yellow, it's going yellow, it's going yellow, hold on. What did I, oh, I missed. Got him, let's go, get KO'd. Yo, what is that? Yo, what are they being chased by? Nah, bro. Oh, of course a stupid ass falls down. Okay, so far, so good. No, 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 no. Yo, I'm gonna try and grab this one to see if it's the right one. Please tell me this is the right one. Please be the right one. Please, please, bro. Please be the right one. Please, bro. Please. Is that... That's not bad, but not great either. It's not bigger than any of those three over there. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be- Mission failed. We'll get him next time. Oh my god. No, he caught me with the forward aerial! Yo, you're not going to catch me with the forward aerial. Stop it, bro. Just stop it. Forward aerial. You tried it. He's dead. That's what you get for trying to stun on me and be fancy. You ended up killing yourself, bozo. That's what you get, you fool. Here it is, my favorite video that I made in 2021 where I played as Little Mac in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Now, how this video came about, I don't know, like, video ideas, they just randomly come to me and as of recently, I've been writing them down in my No Face Notebook, but yeah. I figured since I've been playing Incineroar a lot, who's a bad character that's fun to play in Smash Bros, I figured why not give Little Mac some playtime, you know, because Little Mac is often considered to be the worst character in this game, so I'm just like, you know what, let me make a video on Little Mac. Now, I would not consider myself a Little Mac man at all, like, I literally don't use his character at all. The only times I use this character is if I pick it on random, or if I'm just using him for fun, you know? But, I've been thinking about making a sequel to this, maybe on the one year anniversary of this video, I'll make a sequel, but, as of now, eh. I had fun playing this little Mac, like I really did enjoy making this video and out of all the Smash Bros videos, this one was my favorite, but with that being done, I think I'm gonna close the video out right now. Now, as for 2022, I have hope for my YouTube channel and things are looking brighter, things are look like they're going up for me from here, you know? Like I have so many video ideas I want to do, so many games I want to play through, like this, there's, there's just so much I want to do with my YouTube channel and to everybody who's been supporting my YouTube channel, thank y'all so, 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 so much. Like, I really, really, truly do appreciate it, you know? Like, y'all taking time out of y'all nights to watch my YouTube videos and all that. Like, that shit really does mean a lot to me, and I'm really grateful, you know? Like, I really, truly am grateful, and my goal for 2022 is to hit 1,000 subscribers on YouTube. Will I be able to do it? Hopefully, but I, as of now, like... <laughs> things they just look bright you know so so i'm gonna call it a night end this video right here figure i'd do a top 10 of my favorite videos that i made in 2021 and yeah thank y'all so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and turn on post notifications follow my socials that are in the description down below and yeah i'm gonna be with this y'all take care have a good one and i'll see y'all in the next video